Hey everybody, this is extra tutorial number 5. In this video, I will be discussing about the scope of variables in Python. For the purpose of discussion on the scope of variables, consider this particular piece of code. A global variable is any variable that is declared in our main body and is outside any class or function. We can access this variable from any part of the code, whether main or inside a function. Hence, its scope is global. For example here, the variables x, y and d are global variables. I have added a print statement to access variable x which is a global variable inside this function. I have also added a print statement for the variable b which uses the global variable y for its evaluation. The value of y here inside the function is its global value that is 11. I have added a call to this function at the end of the code. Now let's run this code. You can see that it gives me the correct value of x which is declared globally. This also gives me the value of b using the global value of y which is 11. A local variable is the one which is declared inside a function and can be used locally inside the function only. Like in this example a, b and d here are the local variables. I am able to access the values of these variables inside the function only. Let me add a print a statement here as well. Now I will run this code. You can see that we have obtained the values of these local variables a and b as expected. To verify the scope of a local variable say a here, let me try to access the value of this variable outside the function after it has run. I will add a print for a after calling the function. Now let's run this. You can see that this gave me an error stating that this variable a doesn't exist. This further confirms the fact that the scope of a is local only. You must be thinking that I have not talked much about the variable d here. d has been declared globally here and locally here. Let me add three print statements one before calling the function, one inside the function and the third after calling the function. Let's see what are the values of t that we obtain. So here is the same code but I have added the print statements that I just told you. Now I'll run this program and let's see what are the values of d that we obtain. You can see that the value of d before and after calling the function remains same that is 9 which is its global value. The value of d inside the function is 3 which is the local value of d. The function call did not change the value of d globally. Let's try to visualize how this is working. Consider that we have two containers one for the main body containing the globals the other for the locals in the function func. We have three global variables x, y and d. Let us write them down. Also we have three variables inside the function func. Let us write these down as well. Before calling the function, we have the values of the globals as given in this container globals. When we call the function func, a is assigned a value of 1, b is assigned a value of y plus 1 where y refers to the global variable y. Let's put a pointer there. And then we have d which is assigned a value 3. You can see that there is no effect of the global d on the local d or vice versa at the present state. When the function has executed, the work of the func container is completed. Python won't even look at it again. Hence, after the execution of the function, the value of d obtained is the same as its global value. The next question arises that how do we change the values of the variables globally inside a function. For this, we use the term global inside the function for these variables. 
Suppose here in this example, I wish to change the value of d through an assignment operation inside the function. For this, I will say global d. Let me add this statement inside the function. Everything other than this remains the same as it was earlier. Now let's see what are the values of d we obtained in the three different print calls. Clearly you can see that the value of d before calling the function and inside the function remains the same as it was without using the statement global d. But because we mentioned d to be global, the value of d got modified globally when we changed the reference of d to 3 inside the function. Now I will explain you this through containers. We have these two containers here as well. All the globals are same as earlier. All the local variables inside the function func are also same except d. Here d inside func refers to the global value of d that is 9. When func is executing and we reach line 5 in the code, the value of d changes in the global container to 3. So here I will make the change. Now again, when the function has executed, the work of the func container has been completed and we cross it out. Hence, when we print d after the function call here at line 15 in the code, we obtain the value of d as 3 and not 9 as globally now d has a value of 3. So that's it for this video. I hope now you all will use variables with different scopes carefully. Always plan out your code well so that you don't get trapped by changing global reference of variables. Hope you are clear with the differences between local and global variables. Feel free to write to us for your feedback. Thanks for watching.